All right, TV land. We are here today in Mississippi at a lake called Hurricane Creek. We're gonna go under that bridge over there and cross over. I've never fished this area. I got a Mississippi license today. I was told that this has got some nice bass in it. So we'll see how it goes. Fishing on Alex's rod rig today on his boat. He said he's gonna meet me out here and uh, we'll see how it goes, y'all. I'm gonna keep you tuned in. All right, TV, TV land. I'm waiting on Alex. I just figured I'd stand out here by the boat ramp and throw my line out. I caught me a nice little bass, small one. He ain't no keeper, but uh, looks like it's got some potential. So we're gonna fish this spot today. Dig this that. here is my boy Alex's rig. I got him on that uh, Minn Kota. Yeah, hooked him up. Uh, so, yeah, we good. It's the crappy ca catcher right here. So we out here, we're gonna do this, y'all. I'm excited, I'm hyped. So get to it. I already caught one, so let's get All to right. it. It's team, we be hustling. We be hustling. We got Alex, we out here. What's this, uh, Hurricane Creek, Alex? Hurricane Creek. So, it's a little windy, but getting a lot of nibbles. Nibble, nibble. You know, I figure, I told Alex, I said, you know, fish, they ever, you know, when they don't bite, I usually pull the camera out because, you know, everybody wants their little 15 minutes of fame. They know the camera rolling. They're going to be like, oh, let me, let me get on TV. Let me get on TV. They just don't know. So I'm using this seven foot reel. And I got a little spinner on there. I got a bright lime, neon, whatever you want to call it. And this is a uh, Ski Reese open reel. Um, yeah, real sensitive rod. You can get this, it's a micro series. It's good for crappie and bass. You get it at Walmart. Uh, you get this, I got this thing at Walmart for like $15, and a lot of times you can find them on clearance. Get the seven foot rod, y'all, when you're fishing for crappie and bass, if you want that sensitivity. This one, I can feel this, you know, you can feel, I can feel that lure swimming in the water. So, we're gonna fish this outer bank and work our way down there. There's a spillway or what it, that looks like a barge or something. But we're gonna work our way over there. And uh, yeah, this Alex boat got me working the foot pedal. No success. No, no success. success. This lake is gonna be scratched out. Scratched out. Off the list, too shallow, too many snags. Too many snags. Caught one bass, that was it. A lot of boats put in though. A lot of people put in. All right. No luck. So with that being said, we headed to Pickwick. Stay tuned. All right, TV land. So we back at my favorite little spot, Pickwick. All right, we, we, all right back at that same spot. That was that where I caught all that skipjack. That's a dam. I know this camera don't zoom in real good, so you can't see it, but we headed across. All right, y'all. Got one crappie, that one that you seen. But, uh, hey, nice day to be out here on the water. Check it out. Right up here at the dam. I'm trying to catch whatever. Crappie, skipjack, at this point, it don't matter, man. Sticks, if I can catch a stick. Yeah, we're getting a little close over here to the dangerous waters, but that's what you got to do when you go fishing. Got to go get it. Nice day today. It's a good thing we can not eat fish, man, to uh... To eat off, to survive? <laughs> If we had to count on these fish to survive, boy, you'd be as skinny as I am. Got him a bluegill off the worm. Off the worm. Off. Thank y'all. Y'all gave me good luck. What up, boy? Got hey, your boy got a nice size crappie. Look at him. Look at him. What's that? Three for the day? Hell yeah, Wayne. Hell yeah, man. Hey, throw this to you. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah. Got me a little bluegill. <laughs> Second fish, first fish in the boat. 
good bait though good bait fish right there but uh yeah keep the uh, bluegill hole we are definitely in the bluegill spot definitely i wonder if they make good frozen bait i know they make good live bait flathead but i wonder if they make good frozen bait like you freeze them and then throw them and i'm on I'm on. Yep. Oh, oh y'all, TV land. Tune y'all in. We got me another one about to hit on here. He didn't already hit. I think he probably stole my bait. Let me put the camera down. I seen him when he hit it. Yeah. I seen when he, I seen him swim up and hit it. That's what I mean. All right, it's number two off Alex's worms. Thank you, Alex. Look at that fish finder, y'all. Nothing but fish under here. Looks like it's a bluegill day today. How many bluegills that put us at? Like four, five, six, maybe seven. Bunch of them. Bunch of them. Another one. We got him another one. Alex then got one. Another bluegill, and I think somebody's nibbling on mines right now. He got a slab this time. Nice size crappie. Nice size crappie. Heck yeah. Yeah, baby. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. So what you doing? I'm dropping, it, I'm dropping it in there over the side of the boat. So when I let it hit, I let it sink down to about 15 foot. Then it hitting just like that. 15 foot, huh? We in how many feet? 17 foot of water? Yeah. Oh, crap. I got one. I'm on. I'm on. Yep, I'm on. Hold on, y'all. I had to drop the camera for a minute. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. A little bitty small one, but that's what you see. He said 15 foot. I dropped it, and like he said, just like he said. So, dig that. Man, what are we talking about? He's bluegill, man. I'm telling you, the night is popping. Bluegill. Popping, popping. Yeah, guys, nice size bluegill, and he was hitting hard. I mean, he hit hard. I thought it was a bigger crappie, but bluegill, another one. These little fish are biting tonight, y'all. Little guys, active, all night, perfect bait. Bait fish. All right, so, still at it. Still catching panfish. Good, that's a striped bass. I don't know about him being a bait, but still a good damn day. So this day. is what we're catching pretty much. It's a little bitty small fish. Just a little bitty striped bass right here. Feisty little joker. Another one. Nice size bluegill. Good bait fish. Navigating back. So, another good day. What you think, man? Hell yeah, good day. Good day fishing. You know, we came out here, intentions on catching some crappie and some skipjack. Got a bunch of bluegill, some striped bass, and a couple crappie, you know. So, not bad. Pickwick. And uh, he didn't have his maiden voyage in the, in the boat, so, you know. Ran good, and actually, everybody, don't that think because it's a small boat, it can't handle big water. We was in big water. We was out there in the choppy parts near the dam. So, small boats can handle big water. And uh, it's pretty comfortable out here, too. <laughs> but we didn't catch anything until we went over there. And that we swapped our bait. Yeah, we swapped. We just went straight up worms. I was refusing the whole day, trying to use jigs, and uh, Alice kept catching them. I was like, "Finally, like, man, give me a damn worm," <laughs> and that's how it, that's how it ended.